921, a home health nurse visits a patient who is newly diagnosed with diabetes. The patient is compliant with taking the prescribed hypoglycemic medications and eats three meals a day, followed by desserts sweetened with granulated sugar. The patient also exercises 30 minutes a day, three times a week. Test glucose HGbA1c result range from 6.6 .6 to 8.36.9%. Which of the following educational intervention takes priority? A. Glucose's monitoring. B. Dietary requirements. C. Exercise regimen. D. Medication. The answer is B. Dietary requirements. 922, an insulin-dependent diabetic patient is admitted to the hospital in ketoacidosis. Of the nursing diagnoses shown in the table, which is the two with the highest priority? A. A. C. B. E. F. C. D. E. D. D. To B. E. The answer is B. E. F. 923, a 30 years old married man presents to the clinic with complaints of feeling sad for the past three months. He is unable to maintain regular sleep routine, he lost his appetite and has difficulty concentrating. He is prescribed a medication which prevent the reuptake of specific neurotransmitters that could contribute to his mental health problem. Which side effects would be most important for the nurse to advise the patient of? A. Polyuria. B. Photophobia. C. Fluid retention. D. Sexual dysfunction. The answer is D. Sexual dysfunction. 924. A surgical unit nurse assessed a 35 years old post appendectomy observe abdominal distension with absent bowel sounds. Which of the following interventions is most appropriate? A. Encourage ambulation. B. Provide liquid diet as tolerated. C. Ensure patency of nasogastric tube. D. Check surgical site for signs of infection. The answer is C. Ensure patency of nasogastric tube. 925. The nurse assesses a client with an ileostomy for possible development of which of the following acid base imbalances? A. Respiratory acidosis. B. Metabolic acidosis. C. Metabolic alkalosis. D. Respiratory alkalosis. The answer is B. Metabolic acidosis. 926. Postpartum perineal assessment acronym is R, E, E, D, A. In which letter A mean? The answer is A. Approximation, how well edges come together. 927. Which food consider low potassium diet? A. Bananas. B. Avocado. C. Berries. D. Strawberry. The answer is D. Strawberry. 928. Which one of the following signs and symptoms is associated with increased intracranial pressure? A. Restlessness and confusion. B. Bradycardia and hypertension. C. Tachycardia and hypotension. D. Respiratory depression and headache. The answer is A. Restlessness and confusion. 929. The nurse anticipates which of the following responses in a client who develops metabolic acidosis. A. Heart rate of 105 BPM. B. Urinary output of 15 milliliters. C. Respiratory rate of 30 slash minute. D. Temperature of 39 degrees Celsius. The answer is C, respiratory rate of 30 slash minute. 930, the Code of Professional Conduct is produced and published by A, the Nursing and Midwifery Council. B, the Royal College of Physicians. C, the Royal College of Nursing. D, the Department of Health. The answer is A, the Nursing and Midwifery Council. 931, during a prenatal examination. The nurse draws blood from a young R, H, negative client and explain that an indirect Coombs test will be performed to predict whether the fetus is at risk for A. Acute hemolytic disease B. Respiratory distress syndrome C. 
protein metabolic deficiency. D. Pathologic hyperbilirubinemia. The answer is A. Acute hemolytic disease. 932. Excess iodine effects with organ first? A. Brain. B. Heart. C. Liver. D. Thyroid. The answer is D. Thyroid. 933. 46 year old patient is in the male urology ward after the surgical removal of the stone from his left kidney through percutaneous nephrolithotomy under general anesthesia. He has nurse and dull acting pain in left lumbar region. His nephrostomy bag IA attached through a tube in his left kidney for a few days. What findings should alert the nurse to report to the physician immediately? A. Abdominal discomfort and conniption. B. Severe pain and discomfort at surgical site. C. Presence of blood and stone gravels in urine. D. Urine output less than the identified amount. The answer is B. Severe pain and discomfort at surgical site. 934. A six-year-old child was admitted to pediatric medical ward with acute glomerulonephritis. Which of the following is an indication of acute glomerulonephritis? A. Pain in urination. B. Frequent urination. C. Difficulty in urination. D. Pharyngitis, 15 days ago. The answer is D. Pharyngitis, 15 days ago. 936, a 9A cardiac monitor for a patient in a coronary care unit shows abnormal ECG rhythm with heart rate of 159 beats, QRS complex, 0.18 second, and absent P wave. What could be the type of possible dysrhythmia? A. Sinus tachycardia. B. Ventricular tachycardia. C. Ventricular fibrillation. D. Supraventricular tachycardia. The answer is B. Ventricular tachycardia. 937, nine-year-old child has a fractured femur and full leg cast has been which of the following is a physiologic effect of immobilization? A. A venous stasis. B. B. Increased metabolic rate. C. Positive nitrogen balance. D. D. Increased need for oxygen. The answer is A. A venous stasis. 938. A community health nurse screens a group of high-risk adults for tuberculosis, which gauge needle should the nurse use for an intradermal injection on the volar surface of the forearm? A. 16 gauge needle. B. 20 gauge needle. C. A 22 gauge needle. D. 26 gauge needle. The answer is D. 26 gauge needle. 939. The maximum time for suctioning in adults is a. 5 second. B. 8 seconds. C. 10 second. D. 15 second. The answer is C. 10 seconds. 940. A nurse is transferring a patient with chest tube to the X-ray department for chest X-ray. Which location should the nurse place chest tube? A. Directly on the stretcher in an upright. B. On the side of stretcher next to patient. C. Hanged on four pole that is attached to the. D. Attached to the stretcher and hanged. The answer is D. Attached to the stretcher and hanged.